I knew that retirement was coming up. So I, I retired from teaching in 2018 at the end of June. And, um, you know, a few years before I actually retired, you know, I, I thought to myself, you know what, I think, I think this will be my, my second chance to, to become that artist again. You know, and, and I started thinking about that more and I started thinking about how that might happen. So when I retired, um, my dad at the time was quite ill. So I spent the next several months up until he passed away that fall, like in, in, the November, in November, basically spending as much time as I could with my family, looking after my dad. We were all, as a family, we were all reflecting back on my dad's life it kind of gets you reflecting back on your own life, you know? And I was thinking to myself, I wonder how my dad feels now, kind of looking back. I mean, he, was, he wasn't he was lucid a lot of the time, but I'm sure he had gone through a, a process where he was probably looking back and going, did I do what I wanted to do? You don't ever want to be in that position where you look back and go, shoot, I didn't do what I wanted to do. You know, like I need more time. So I'm sure there was kind of this little message in there for me, like, this is it, like, do it. If, if there's something you have not done and that you want to do it, do it. It's the best thing ever. Like, it just, it's kind of like, yeah, I, you know, I couldn't, I could not have predicted when I retired from teaching what the next year or so has been like. And people who know me, they're like, who is this person? You're like 10 years younger than you were before. You know, it's like taking years off and they, you're so happy and enthusiastic all the time. It's like, well, it's hard not to be because I'm doing my passion. All my paintings are, you can't see them. <laughs> they're lined up over here and they're leaning against the windows. And I look at them and go, geez, Louise, like what a progression. The growth has been huge, like amazing. Um, and I don't see that stopping. Right? I see that continuing. Um, for me, the whole, the process of creating art is to me the most interesting, fascinating um, part of being an artist. And to it's play um, and it's experimentation. Right now, it feels like it's the greatest time of my life. Like I feel like all the regret of not following that art dream and all the, um, the sadness because I didn't let myself dwell on it it would kind of you know kind of creep into my thoughts and I'd be like no we're not going to go there like this is life this is what happens let's just you know kind of keep that to the side um it that's gone so all of that is just it's gone and I kind of think geez you know I could die tomorrow and I will have done I will have gone after what I wanted to when I was little you know, I have no regrets now. I have no, no sense that I haven't followed a dream. 